Come check out the Connection Games and Comics. We have the largest selection of War Machine and Hordes miniatures in the Lower Mainland. War Machine Wednesdays and Sundays, with tables and terrain to play your game. Welcome to our Game of Gen Gaiden, where we're going to discuss a new thing we got for the channel as well as for our own games. Um, so we got a couple of table war mats. Um, they're the fat mats. Um, and basically what they are, they're these giant mouse pads, basically. Um, so they're a four by four foot mat. They've got like a neoprene rubberized back. I think that's what it is, neoprene. I, I don't actually know. I like the word neoprene, so that's what okay, it is. Okay, sure. And um, they've got a printed thing on the front. So we've got the, um, actually I don't know which one this one's called. Uh, I don't know, some city. It's like the Cityscape one. Um, we got two four by fours because we played War Machine and not other games, mostly. Um, and then we also got this one. This is the, ta-da! There you go. Magic trick. Um, this is the um, the grassy fields one. And when I saw the picture online for this one, um, I didn't think it was very good. Uh, the like online the, the picture they have for it, these this like ground texture looks really like really blocky and kind of defined, and it looked it didn't look very good. But it was the only one that had like a grassy texture, so I think um, it's okay. Like so in well, person, on, at least. Hold on, let me get there. Um, on online, like the, the the picture they have for this mat, I wasn't super impressed with it. Um, but getting it in, in person and actually looking at it, it's it's pretty pretty nice. Like the the greens are very vibrant. The the ground texture isn't as um, as blocked out as it looks like online. Mm. Like on, online, it looks like basically like like there's tubes almost everywhere. And it, I don't know. The, so okay. the imagery they have for it isn't that great. Um, the the quality of the mat's pretty good. The um, the rubberized backing's pretty thick. Um, it feels nice. Um, it's got that new car smell, so that's 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 good. Um, the guys at Table War or um, uh, what are they? Frontline Gaming. Frontline Gaming. Well, they're, they're Table War and Frontline Gaming. I'm not sure if they're two different companies or if they were conglomerated into one or whatever. But um, I had initially heard about them. There was this this fiasco with uh, Blue Table Painting. And um, and the guy had done this big chaos dwarf commission. Oh, that was that was that guy. Yeah, okay, so, so let me. Um, so this this um, this guy did this big chaos dwarf commission with blue devil painting, and they didn't give him what he wanted. They charged him a whole bunch of money, and there was this this big problem with it. And um, Frontline Gaming are touching up his models for free. Oh. They're, they're doing a the whole army for him. Oh. Um, so that's how I heard about um, about uh, Table War. Um, and I just thought that was you know I mean. It, it obviously they did it for promotional reasons and yeah, publicity. publicity and stuff like that. But it, it was nice that somebody in the community stepped in to take care of that for them. But it's still pretty, yeah, it's pretty cool. And I mean, like we're talking uh, Warhammer points wise, like twenty five thousand points. Jeez. Like, and it's, it's all Forge World custom stuff. Like, it's a, his his army's got to be ten thousand dollars, fifteen thousand um, dollars. So, so they were the guys who stepped in and, and said, hey, yeah, we'll take care of this for this guy, um, which is phenomenal. It's just nice that we have that kind of. Thing in the community, even even in other communities, they wouldn't nobody would do that for free. Like right. that's that's a crazy amount of work. Right. Um, so that's how I heard about them initially, and then I looked at the, the gaming mats, and there's not a lot of options in gaming mats. Um, like there's, there, there's some out in, in Poland. There's some like Zuzzy mats are ones that you like have texture, but you have to paint them. Um, but to get like a decent quality, just like mouse pad mat is. It's, it's not as prevalent as you think it would be. Yeah, I mean, for the amount of war games that have come out, especially recently, you'd think that there'd be more people on the market with something like this. Well, exactly. And in Canada, there are none. There's not one company in Canada that does this. So um, this led to kind of part of the problem with getting these. So there was a, a port strike in LA, um, and these have been on back order for months. Like, I, I mean, we were talking about getting, we should get a couple of those mats. Right, yeah. Um, months ago, and they just haven't been available. And I've been kind of looking at the ones in Poland because they're they're like a vinyl sheet, which would probably be fine, but um, I really wanted the, the like, the non-slip, you know, right. riser mat. And I, I mean, they, they are a bit more expensive, but not absurdly so. And so I've been waiting for these for quite a while. Um, when they came back in stock, I sent an email over to, I can't remember his name, the, okay. One of the guys over at, uh, at Table War, and uh, he got back to me really quick. The communication was really good. And I was able to put in an order for basically the moment that they got them. So, like, hmm. it was like Thursday, they came into the store, or I, I messaged them on like a Wednesday, Thursday, they said, well, they'll be here tomorrow. They came in tomorrow, he emailed me, I said, okay, here's my order. Cool. Um, so that was all very good. 
Well, the problem, there's two problems though. Um, first, shipping to Canada is ridiculous. Yeah. So for two mats, shipping to Canada was 75 bucks. That's pretty ridiculous. Which is basically the cost of one of the mats. Like it's, um, so shipping is 50% of the cost. Right. Um, well, not quite 50, it would be like 30, 33%, 35% of the cost, whatever. So that was really, really shitty. Um, now that's not their fault. Um, the one thing that did bother me though, um, was that, um, the shipping was three to five days. Okay. The, I got a confirmation indicating that the mats had been shipped eight days after I put in the, the order. After hmm. I paid for the order, eight days later, I got the confirmation saying, okay, now we've shipped it. Um, so I, I emailed them and they said, oh, well, um, if, if, to the effect of, um, they had shipped them out and I guess like there, there might've been some kind of problem. Okay, so maybe there, there was a shipping problem that's possible, but still, like seventy-five dollars for shipping, and then like it doesn't even get sent out until after a week after you've put in the order. Again, well, hopefully that's not the like that, that's not the experience everybody has. Like, hopefully they ship out like you know every day or two. Um, this is just the experience I had. Sure. So, um, but they were really communicative. Communicative. I don't know if I said that right the first time. I don't know. Um, the mats are phenomenal. They are fantastic mats. I like. They're very bright and colorful, and they look great and they will do the job perfectly fine you'll see them in battle reports at some point um they feel nice they've um they come in little these little um nylon protector things which will be fine for storage i don't know like they're not they're not um solid it'd be nice if there was like a it's like a tube or something like a hard it would just be more expensive to ship uh not really because they came in they came inside of those bags inside of a box inside of a box it's so gonna be heavier might be a little heavier, but... Four-foot cylinder is... For, it's going to be heavy. If it's going to be any... Anything to protect them, it'll be heavy. Yeah, I suppose. Um, but it came like this big... Yeah, I don't know. Um, maybe it would have been a little bit more expensive, but I would... At least at least then I would have justification for the shipping cost. I suppose. Um, but for, for a lot of Canadians, I think... I mean, if you can ship to a P.O. box, like in, in just outside, like off the border... Because we're in, in Vancouver, so... We're pretty close to Bellingham. We're pretty close to other places. Like shipping inside of the, the United States, the continental United States, is pretty cheap. It's not too bad. It's like 20, 30 bucks. It's just like for some reason, if you go that extra six feet, it's like a gazillion dollars. It's an imaginary line. There's customs and stuff, right? Um, so I wasn't super happy with the shipping thing, and I buy a lot of stuff online. So um, I think that could have been better, but maybe maybe they had a legitimate problem. Like maybe. They like apparently they shipped out like a couple hundred orders that day, right? Um, and maybe this one just got missed. So that may not be a reflection on them, and they may have um, much better shipping times. It's just you see like three to five shipping, three to five uh, day shipping, and you expect that you'll have it in three to five days. So it took uh, I'd have to double check for sure, but it was eight days until it was shipped, and then another week before I got it. So it would have been like probably. To be fair, that was over Easter long weekend. Yeah, but it's one one holiday. Well, but in terms of business days, that's four days that aren't business days. Yeah, but I mean, we were like 16 days out. I know, but like from, from the date that they shipped it, it might have only been three to five business days. No, no. Like, like, like well, I mean, from, from when, okay, yeah, I mean, sorry. From, from when that I got the shipping confirmation, it might have been just three to five business days. Yeah, that's all, that's all I'm saying. Um, it's just like eight days to get the shipping confirmation was yeah. kind of a bummer. Yeah, um, that's unfortunate. Now, that being said, we weren't going to be filling battle reports for the channel in that time. Um, so it would have been just like our, our own little, you know, games where I beat Mike. Um, but that, that's the only negative thing I can, I can bring up with the, the, this, like the, you know, the product is, is great. I think the price that I paid for the product is fine. Um, they weren't cheap, but they weren't, I don't know. I feel like it was worth it. Cool. So, um, so I definitely recommend buying them. And I think that now that they're coming back in stock, if you're in the continental U S definitely buy them. If you're in Canada and you can ship to a PO box, definitely buy them. If um, if you ha if you're going to be shipping it over the border, just be aware that it may take longer and it's going to be expensive. Um, so it may be worth going in with a few buddies and like buying a, a bunch of mats. Um, I figured we probably wouldn't need more than two. We probably didn't need more than one. Realistically, realistically but like I don't know. I really wanted the um, the um, the city one because I, I I like the city one quite a bit. Um, and it, it'll liven it up as well, like when we get tired of playing on the... the yeah, I suppose. Um, also for other games, like if we play... Um, actually, all the games we play would be fun on the green map. <laughs> but um, regardless. Um, yeah, so that's the 
This is the Table War uh, Frontline Gaming uh, Fat Mats, and they are everything that I would hope that they would, or that I was hoping they would be in, in terms of the product. Um, so I would definitely recommend getting them. But um, yeah, and the guys there seem pretty good. Like they were like when you email them, they got back to you within the, the day or the next day. So they're very quick to communicate, which is nice. A lot of the times, especially with smaller companies, you email them and like a week later they get back to you. Like oh yeah, maybe we'll talk to you about something and yeah um, but these guys were pretty good about communicating so that's good um, that's basically it cool